Good morning, this is Deb Watson, and today we're going to do a simple and easy watercolor card. We'll start with an outline, which you can draw or trace. Put in a wet on wet sky. Do a little color at the bottom of the trees. We'll use a stencil to lift out a moon with Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser and paint the trees. I'm going to be giving you tips all along the way. Here's my finished painting. Yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine, but I'm sure it will be great. We're going to start by picking your best colors. I know that you don't have the exact same colors I do, so the best thing to do is to get your colors out before you start your card and test them out on scrap paper. And I'm starting with some phthalo blue. It's the most common blue on the market. Very pretty, especially when you water it down. Now my favorite snow combination is phthalo plus cerulean blue. So that's what I'm going to use. You can use any colors you like. This card will turn out well with a lot of different combinations. For the color near the horizon line, you could use orange, Orange and blue is a great combination. They're complementary colors on the color wheel. But I don't feel like that today. I think I'm going to use a little bit of red. My red is actually quinacridone magenta, but try out your reds and see which colors you like the best. It's looking a little bit bright, so I might tone it down with a little bit of my blue and go for more of a purple. And I've almost used up my blue already. So once you find your perfect colors, make sure you mix up enough to do your whole card. There's some blue and there's some of the violet. That's not got quite enough red in it. I'm gonna get it just the way I want it and then we'll be ready to start. I'm going to start by wetting the sky with a soft wash brush. I'm using clean water and plenty of it. Getting the sky evenly damp gives those colors a chance to blend on the paper. You're gonna get your best results if you use the fewest brush strokes. You can see I'm dumping a lot of water on there and then I'm going to tilt the paper and let the excess water run off. And I missed a spot right there. Okay, now the sky is evenly damp and I'm loading my brush. I'm going to start at the bottom with my bottom color. That's the purple. You don't want to have half of one color and half of the other. Just put a little bit of your base color at the bottom. And then blue at the top. And you can leave a space between them or merge them together. It's up to you. See, I'm not dragging the blue down into the purple. I'm just putting it on around the top and then I rinse out my brush and squeeze out most of the water because I don't like what it's doing here at the bottom. So I'm just doing a little bit of smoothing with the brush and I'm gonna leave it at that. Any puddles around the edge can mess up your wash and create a bloom as it's drying. Now while that dries, I'm going to use these same colors to put a little color at the bottom of the trees. I switch to a smaller brush and I'm just wetting the area above the line where the trees come out. That's called the tree well. And then I put a little of my color in there. I'm going to do that on both sides. Try to make one side bigger than the other. 
probably the one with the two trees. I dried this very well and my bottom color really wimped out. If it's completely dry, you can just re-wet the sky and add more color anywhere you want. Since it's a small area down here, I'm sticking with this smaller brush. This is the size six round. And that's looking pretty red. Plus it's going crazy. So here you can lift color up with a thirsty brush. Or you can just dab it with a paper towel. It's up to you. I think that looks a lot better. I like having a little pop of color down right in here. And dry this area. Now that it's dry, I'm going to lift off my moon. I cut a stencil a large and a small from an old photograph and I think I'm going to use the large. I hold it in place and I take a damp Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser. You can buy those at your grocery store. I wipe off some of the paint and then I rinse the eraser. I wipe a little more. I'm going to rinse again. It doesn't have to go back to completely white paper. The advantage to lifting is that it's easier than painting around the moon and it will give you soft edges. So it's just a nice look. See, no pencil lines, no hard edges. Wasn't that easy? I dried the moon and I added a little bit of black to my blue. This is my own homemade black. You can use any black you like. And I'm going to paint the trees. If you have trouble getting thin lines, use a smaller brush, or you can get a special brush called a liner brush. It's also called a script or a rigger, and they are especially made for painting thin lines. They aren't expensive, and it's nice to have one in your tack box. I'm also adding a little shrub over here on the right. Everything is the same color and value, so I'm getting thicker, darker black and coming back to add a little more color to some of the branches. Variation is always more pleasing than having everything the same color. So I'm just going to make a couple branches much darker. I'm also taking some of my red and adding some tiny red touches here and there to the branches. Doesn't that look better? I just think that's a nice effect. I decide to make this a winter berry bush, so I'm doing some beautiful red berries on these bare branches. I dried that, and now I'm taking a pair of scissors. These are Fisker scissors for deckled edges and I'm going to cut out my holiday card. You could also frame this, but I need Christmas cards to send my family. So now it's the perfect size for a card. I want to make it dark around the edges so it stands out. I load my brush with my black and or red and just kind of scrape the edge of the brush on the edge of the card. That'll help it look finished when it's on the card. 
And I'm gonna show you how to do some color on the envelope too. Here it is with the edging. And here's my blank cards. I got these online. I like the deckled edges. I wanna add a line of the same color to my card as I have in my painting. So I'm going to put down a piece of tape to give me a nice straight edge and paint a little of my leftover color around the edge. This will show when the card is closed and it gives you a really professional looking result. Some blue and some red. See the tape keeps that nice straight edge. I'm gonna dry that really well. And then I'm putting my card on with double stick tape. This is the tape gun I use for my framing, but you can get double stick tape at your grocery store or you can use Elmer's glue. Just be careful not to get the glue on the front of the card as it's kind of messy. So I press down and my card's almost ready to go. When I was putting the color around the edges of the card, some of it got on my moon and my snow. But if you have that problem, you can fix it with white paint. This is an opaque white paint. And I'm putting it on really thick to cover up any bloopers. And I'm gonna cover up my pencil line in the back along the horizon line. This stuff really works great with holiday cards and snow scenes. If your paper doesn't lift well, you can use this to paint on the moon if you like. And here's a little bit to cover up the pencil line on my horizon. There's nothing wrong with pencil lines showing. I just like it better without them. And if you like this video, take time to subscribe or hit the like button. It really helps my channel. And here's our finished card. Well, almost finished. I have to say I'm a sucker for falling snow. I'm spattering on some falling snow, but it's not spattering very well for me today. There's always a way. I just take my brush with the white paint and dot on some falling snow. I'm getting bigger flakes that way. I think the falling snow adds a nice sense of movement to this card. This would be a great scene for a thank you card or anytime sending a card to someone you love. Somebody in my family will be getting this one. I hope your cards turn out great. Try making a lot of cards with many different colors. You could add a star instead of the moon. There's so many things you're only limited by your imagination. Happy painting.